Welcome to N3 Electro Technology. We're going to be looking at Chapter 2, which is all about DC machines. Now, it's important to take note that DC machines is neither about generators nor, nor motors. We're going to be looking at the construction of a machine. Right, so as you can see from these uh, different components, our machine has quite a few components, and each component has a main function. Let's start off with the main function of the yoke, also known as the main frame. The main frame forms the outer casing of the machine and is used to protect the inner parts and also helps to distribute the magnetic flux. The field flux is what is generated by the field windings. The field windings, also known as the field coils, are used to produce the magnetic field when they carry current. The pole shoe, also known as the pole core, is bolted onto the end of the pole core and the pole shoe helps to hold the field windings in place. The pole shoe also helps to close the air gap, helps to distribute the magnetic flux. The field pole, also known as the pole core, is usually made out of soft iron core and it is used to strengthen the magnetic field and also helps to hold the field windings. The air gap is the gap between the rotating part and the stationary part. The air gap must be small enough to prevent loss of energy, but large enough to prevent friction. The armature assembly and the armature core consist of the armature core, armature windings, commutator, shaft, bearings, and cooling fan. The armature core itself is made up of thin slices of laminated steel sheets to reduce the effects of eddy currents. The negative consequences of eddy current is unwanted heat and energy loss. The difference between pole pitch and coil pitch. Pole pitch is the distance between the centers of the main poles, whereas coil pitch is the distance between the sides of the coils. Lap winding and wave winding. Our armature can be, wa can be wound in two ways, either lap or wave. For lap winding, uh, the letter L tells me that it is used for a low voltage, high current applications, whereas with wave winding, it is used for high voltage and low current applications. If we look at the formula, the letter C represents the number of parallel paths, and thus for a wave wind armature, the number of parallel paths is always 2, whereas for lap winding, the number of parallel paths is dependent on how many pole pairs there are. The ends of the windings are soldered onto the commutator segments. The main function of the commutator is to allow for electrical connection and allows current to flow from the armature. It also converts AC into DC. Now the commutator is divided up into many segments and made of copper. Each segment is insulated by a material called mica. Mica is a good insulating material and can withstand high temperature. The copper segments are wedge shaped and this prevents the segments from moving apart due to centrifugal force. Bearings. The main function of bearings is to prevent friction and they are either made of roller bearings or ball bearings. Brushes. We get different types of brushes. We get carbon brushes and graphite brushes. Now the term bedded means that we shape a new brush to the surface of the commutator. We like carbon because carbon is cheap, it's hard wearing, it can withstand high temperature, and carbon dust acts as a lubricant. Okay, but let's have a look at a few questions that have come up in the exercise in this textbook. Um, question one, make a neat fully labeled sketch of a two pole DC machine. We can see that this is two poles, meaning that there's only one pair. We would have to name all the main components. Let's look at the main function of each component. The yoke, the yoke protects the inner parts, it forms the outer casing and distributes the magnetic flux. The field poles hold the field windings in place and strengthen the magnetic field. The pole shoe bolted to the field pole and helps to distribute the magnetic field over the air gap. Field coils, or also known as field windings, are used to produce the magnetic field when they carry current. The main function of the armature is to produce torque. 
If we had to define torque, torque is the twisting force about angular motion. The commutator, the main function of the commutator is to allow for electrical connection and to allow for current to flow. It also converts AC to DC. Brushes also allow for electrical connection and for current to flow. The main function of bearings is to prevent friction and the terminal box is where you will find the electrical connections. The different types of brushes used in DC machines, we get carbon, graphite, and copper graphite. There are two types of armature windings used in DC machines, lap and wave. If we had to look at the sketch in the diagram to show the difference between lap and wave, we can see that uh, lap is used for low voltage, high current applications, whereas for wave, it is used for high voltage and low current applications. The term bedded or bedding of brushes means that we are shaping the surface of the brush to the commutator. State two important properties of carbon brushes. Carbon brushes are hard wearing and can withstand high temperature. They are cheap and the carbon dust acts as a lubricant. Give two reasons why mic is used as a insulating medium between commutator segments. Mic is a good insulating material and can withstand high temperature. The commutator is made up of hard drawn wedge shaped copper segments. We get two types of bearings, ball bearings and roller bearings. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at some previous exam questions that have come up on this uh, specific chapter. So let's have a look. Laminations are thin layers that are bound together. Why are field poles and armature cores of DC machines laminated? To reduce the effects of eddy currents and to strengthen the magnetic field. The field system is the stationary part of the DC machine. State the function of the following components, field coils and pole shoes. Field coils produce the magnetic field when current runs through them. Pole shoes bolts to the pole core, distributes the magnetic flux over the air gap, holds the field windings in place and reduces the size of the air gap. There are two types of armature windings in a DC machine. State which winding is used in the case of the following. 1.3.1 high voltage low current machines and 1.3.2 low voltage high current machines. Bearings are used to support the rotating armature of a DC machine. Name two types of bearings used in DC machines. We get ball bearings and roller bearings. Give two reasons why mica is used as an insulating material between the segments of the commutator in a DC machine. Mica is a good insulating material and can withstand high temperatures. Why are the segments of a DC machine wedge shaped? The commutator segments are wedge shaped so as to prevent them from moving out of position due to the centrifugal force of the armature. Name two types of brushes used in a DC machine, carbon or graphite. 